Let's go to Parliament now, and that House is expected to go on Easter break today. But three outstanding tax measures are still yet to get the House's approval. The tax bills together could contribute up to 4 billion CDs to the National Kitty, without which government has said it may not get an IMF bailout. Parliamentary Affairs Correspondent Kwikwasante now reports on that matter. Another day in Parliament and barely 24 hours for Parliament to go on Easter break as per its tentative schedule. Parliament has still not approved the three controversial tax measures that came with the 2023 budget. Those three tax bills have been on the other people for some time now and has still not been approved. The three the income tax amendment, the excise duty amendment, and the growth and sustainability amendment bills have all been staying in Parliament for some considerable time. And at the end of this quarter, the first quarter of the new year, government is still yet to get the needed revenue, as it says. The president, the finance minister, the information minister, and other key government functionaries have all said that these are prior actions that government will need to get through before it can get the IMF alone. These three measures, and to start with, the income tax amendment bill is expected to rake in 1.2 billion cities annually. It is expected to amend the income tax laws of Ghana. It will exempt minimum wage earners and would alter foreign exchange losses treatment in financial statements. The other one having to do with the excise duty amendment bill is expected to rake in about 400 million Ghana cities annually and will achieve this by imposing 20% tax on e-smoking and fruit juices in this country. And finally, the Growth and Sustainability Amendment Bill is expected to rake in 2.2 billion Ghana cities annually and will replace the current national fiscal stabilization levy. With barely 24 hours for Parliament to go on break, that is if they adhere to the timeline they set for themselves, government is still yet to get through this. And today, quite surprisingly, some protesters were here in Parliament asking MPs to pass this bill into law. We are, we are losing a lot of lives in this country, especially the youth. So we are here for them to pass uh, that law for us so that the youth will be saved. Because most of the youth are dying for cancer, a bit more like 17 years, 18 years. They are losing their life of this uh, smoking habit and other things. That electronic um, shisha pipeline, these things are air cosua. But we know me and we are doing say, and Kofu, Ashra Munkwa, and Yayare, and my room. So we are praying, say, abide the boy, so that they can pass out that law for us. That's what we are here. The statistics from Ghana Health Service is saying that most of these youth are using these devices, the e-smoking devices, shisha and the rest. The bill that is before Parliament seeks to impose more taxes on this product so that they can be able to um, um, pass and into law and help us come out and protect the youth. For instance, if you look at the e-smoking devices that are rampant these days in, in, in the country, most of them are from these businessmen. When this bill is being passed, because of the taxes, most of these businessmen cannot go outside and bring them in. And we believe that government of the day is trying to protect the Ghanaian youth. That's why we youth in accountable governance is saying that there is a need for us to, 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 to get ourselves involved. Most importantly, we believe that when the bill is being passed, it will hasten the progress at which we are at currently now on the IMF stage. You know, so that no, because we are in difficulties right now. Reporting for Joy News, Kweku Asante, Parliament House, Accra.